This is the last leg, the last gasp, day five. Like so much of the journey, the next step, the boats to Panama's migration processing and camps are just hours away. But is it two or seven? And it sometimes does feel like the whole world is on the move just here. I meet Mohammed, a Lebanese man who it turns out lived not far from me years ago when I lived in Beirut. He's tried twice to get a US visa to see his American wife in San Antonio and his children, who he says he's not seen for five years. If you want to die, the life is very short. If I want to die, I have 55 years. If I want to die on the street, I want to come. I don't care. I want to see my family. It's not easy. Maybe you die on the street. Anybody, you look, look, everybody, you look, you look tired. Everybody, maybe you die here. You know that. But more often than you expect, that does not happen because of crowds like this. <laughs> Daniel from Venezuela started walking 10 days ago and has injured his ankle. Time and again, something pure shines. They've met minutes earlier, but are now unified in saving a stranger. <laughs> Carrying him through the rocks puts them at risk of injury too. Truly, nobody seems to have been left behind. The disabled girl Anna, who we last saw with her mother in a camp by the river, has also found help. His real name is Enna Sanchez, age 27, from a Venezuelan Colombian border town, and he's been carrying her for a day. <laughs> There is something particularly awful about these last miles. The sun is mercilessly hot. The river and the boats ahead are so much further than they would be when the river is higher. People drop from the heat. It's these last moments of the walk just strikes you how incredibly tough all these people are and the sheer grit that they're showing to get this far, but also how incredibly unpleasant the places they must be fleeing from are to make them endure this kind of torture to some degree over many days. Finally, through the haze of the parched rocks, they see it. And leaving the trek is yet another ordeal, another cost. A line again, this time for $20 a head to pack into these boats. Run by the local tribe, at least $300 is made on each boat, six boats always loading from dawn till 4 p.m. That's, again, a lot of money. But also, too many customers. There is a fight, someone cutting in line. This may be a medical rescue helicopter. That is the first that we've seen 
of the Panamanian government since we've arrived. The boats barely float, but like so much else, the risk is relative about what you've gone through before. The jungle trek is 66 miles only. They have 3,000 more ahead to the US border with Mexico. <laughs> 